Hey, what's going on everybody? So today uh, we're going to do a quick, uh, I guess, prelim preliminary, man, oh, come on, preliminary look at some of Saab's uh, design and engineering, um, such as like the thickness of the eight pillars and things like that, why Saab's are so strong, um, you know, the, the things that nobody really mentions in regards to the advancements uh, that Saab has made in the automotive industry. And uh, so we're going to take a look at some of the quick things here before I dive in on the next video, which will be a more in-depth look at it. Just wanted to do something a little quick this time. So there you go. And yes, if you're looking at this, it is a Saab shirt with two Canada flag or uh, Maple Leafs representing Canada. It was for the Saab owners convention that we held here in Canada. It was the first and uh, apparently last one ever. Uh, it was an incredible turnout, um, but it was an awful lot of work, and it was really hard to get support to make it happen. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the Saab engineering. So let's start at the actual headlights. Uh, if you've ever wondered what, uh, I guess, what style of headlight bulb your vehicle uses, Saab actually has them imprinted on the headlight housing itself. Uh, mine are pretty weathered, so it's hard to see, but it does actually say D1S, where I have it circled, uh, which indicates that it's a D1S xenon bulb that should be used on these headlights. And I didn't show it, but uh, the other side actually has the um, H11, I believe. And here, the A pillar, if uh, you look, it's about four inches in depth. People wonder, uh, you know, how Sobs can survive a head-on collision with a moose. Well, comparing these pillars with other other vehicle pillars, these things are massive, and it's about three inches across, not including the extra width uh, that you get from the door. Um, you know, which it's been stated that even in rallying and racing and whatnot, Sob, what it wasn't required, or it wasn't necessary for them to use a roll cage because the pillars were so strong. Um, and there you go. And over here, we've got the, uh, you know, back in 2005 and 2004, you know, the cooled glove box with the little switch to turn it on and off. It's pretty interesting in regards to, uh, you know, just some uh, engineering ingenuity uh, from Saab. Now it's pretty commonplace. And uh, I still don't see this a whole lot in uh, family sedans. I see it more in SUVs. Uh, but the rear vent for uh, defrosting the rear side windows pretty ingenious. Uh, I'm pretty sure it also works in cooling as well uh, for air conditioning to keep moisture off the windows. And if you look here, uh, that weather sealing strip at the bottom there, that's the door sill um, with the door open. The door actually wraps into that whole area, it just turns it into a complete and utter safety cage. Like it's it's absolutely crazy, the, the amount of thought. These hidden little things, so you're basically in a cocoon. And here with the tail light, uh, you'll notice the little markings there, uh, pretty much in the center of that uh, photo. The markings there actually tell you which uh, tail light bulbs you should use as well. Uh, you don't even have to go into the owner's manual to actually look. It's uh, pretty crazy. And of course, here we have uh, the incredibly complex uh, cup holder. Now, it looks like it's not that complicated. It looks like when you push it up, it just touches the edge of the dash and then that's what starts the tilt. But if you look very carefully as I get closer, it never actually touches the dash at all. That whole mechanism is on its own. It's all internally done. It doesn't touch the dashboard whatsoever. There's maybe a millimeter of clearance. It, it, I mean, to, it, it was way over complicated, but kind of cool. And then for switching uh, taillight bulbs, easiest vehicle I've ever seen for doing this. You just pull off, a, just squeeze those tabs, pull out the entire holder. It's a whole circuit board. Holds all the bulbs, boom. You just push, twist, pull one of the bulbs out, replace it, get it back, line it up. Push it in until the tabs lock in place, and you're done. It's uh, by far the easiest vehicle. Even my last Saab, I had a 2004 93 sports sedan, and it was the same thing. It's, it's, just, it's the easiest thing ever. 
Now, here comes a hidden aspect, which uh, I couldn't find the info. I did come across it a long time ago. Uh, the reason why Saab uses such a curved windshield was uh, at high speeds, it actually keeps rain off the window. It'll spread the rain off to the sides, um, you know, just to try to maximize uh, the capability of uh, visibility. Um, you know, mind you, yeah, the windshields are pretty expensive to replace because of the curve. It's a lot more windshield, and it also acts sort of like the whole egg thing. Um, you know, the egg thing where uh, you actually you know, the egg shell because of the shape. It's like a dome, so it's a lot stronger, which is another reason why Sobs can uh, withstand hitting the moose head on. So there's uh, just a few quick ingenuity things in regards to uh, Saab and their crazy over-engineering design influence and safety. And uh, yeah, I guess on the next one I'll try to get more into like the engine, electronics, how all the systems work together and things like that. But uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the uh, bell notification button, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!